Hi friends, it's Haley here from the Gale Library in Newton, here with your preschool story time today. Hi, how are you guys doing this week? It is a little miserable outside today. It is rainy and cold, so I hope you're all cozied up and enjoying a nice cozy warm day at home. So before we start our stories today, we are going to do a calendar where we figure out what day it is and what date and what month we are in. So you guys know that we have our stories on the same day every week and there are seven days in the week, right? So what day of the week is our story time usually on? There are seven days, there are seven days to the week, to the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Did you guess Tuesday? You guessed right. <laughs> and the date, so yesterday was the 25th, two and a five. So if we think, what comes after number five? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? It is 26 today. Oh, I got it in the month, the wrong place. What month are we in? The month of Halloween. It's the spooky month. Can you guess? We're always at the end. I think this is our last story time of this month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. You got it, October, November next month, and then December. And then we'll be into a new year, but for this year, it's still 2020. One, nice job. We are still in what season? Winter, spring, summer, or autumn? At fall, <laughs> we're in the fall. We know because it's getting colder and the leaves are falling off the trees. And the weather, I've already told you what the weather was like, it's yucky today. But we do need some rain, but it is raining today. And let's say we're happy because we're cozy and warm and keeping toasty, ready for stories. All right, so we're gonna be reading some Halloween stories today uh, because on Sunday is Halloween. So I've got some fun Halloween spooky stories. And if you're joining us for story time today, we will also be decorating some spooky Halloween cookies. So I hope you guys are in the library today. All right, this one is by Lucille Colandro and it is called, There Was An Old Lady Who Swallowed A Bat. And this crazy old lady swallowed everything. There was an old lady who swallowed a bat. I don't know why she swallowed a bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed an owl. Oh my, oh my, she started to howl. Howl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed the bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. What do you think? Now she's so fat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush, shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed the bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a ghost. <laughs> what do you think she liked it the most? She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed the bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady yeah, who swallowed a goblin. It made her so dizzy, she started to spin. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to chase, catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl, she swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed the bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed some bones. <clears throat> oh, there were so many, she started to moan. She swallowed the bones to rattle the goblin. She swallowed the goblin to scare the ghost. She swallowed the ghost to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to chase the owl. She swallowed the owl to shush the bat. I don't know why she swallowed the bat. Imagine that. There was an old lady who swallowed a wizard to cast a spell so she could yell, trick or treat. And she went 
Burp. Burp. The end. <laughs> Wasn't that silly? That old lady, she swallows everything. <clears throat> she swallowed a cat. And there's a song about the cat. It goes like this. Three black cats, three black cats, in black hats, in black hats. They tease the ghost and the goblin too. Have you ever seen such a hullabaloo? No, I got that wrong. <laughs> I'm looking at the I'm looking at it underneath me and I'm reading it upside down. Try again. Three black cats, three black cats, in black cats, in black cats. They all jumped into the Halloween brew. They teased the ghost of the goblins too. Have you ever seen such a hullabaloo on Halloween? <laughs> I should have practiced that one beforehand. That was a good thing. All right. Let's go with stories. I can read stories and I know what they're about. Ten Little Goblins. Let's do this one next. By Pamela Jane. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't sing, huh? Pamela Jane. Over in the forest where the trees hide the sun lived a big mummy monster and her little monster won. Scare, said the mummy. I scare, said the one. So he scared and he scampered where the trees hide the sun. Over in the forest where the spook shout boo, lived a pale daddy ghost and his little ghosts too. Haunt, cried the daddy. We haunt, cried the two. So they all hid and haunted where the spooks shout boo. Over in the forest near a gnarled oak tree lived an old mother zombie and her little zombie three. Scare, said the mummy. We scare, said the three. So they all stood together near the gnarled oak tree. Over in the forest where the fierce winds roar lived a grey father werewolf and his little werewolf's four. Howl, said the father. We howl said the four. So they howled and they growled where the fierce winds roar. Over in the forest where the shadows come alive lived an old mother mummy and her little mummy's five. Moan, said the mother. We moan, said the five. So they moaned and they groaned where the shadows come alive. Over in the forest, forest in a hovel made of sticks lived an old mother witch and a little witch's six. Cackle, squeaked the mother. We cackle, shrieked the six. So they crowded and they cackled in that hovel made of sticks. Over in the forest, in a mossy green heaven, lived a scaly father dragon and his little dragon seven. Breathe, said the father. We breathe, said the seven. So they breathed flames of fire in the mossy green heaven. Over in the forest by the graveyard gate lived a bony father skeleton and his little skellies eight. Rattle, said the father. We rattle, said the eight. And they rattled and they ran by the graveyard gate. Over in the forest near a tall dark pine lived a furry mother bat and a little batty's nine. Swoop, cried the mother. We swoop, cried the nine. So they swooped in the shadows near the tall dark pine. Over in the forest in a deep green glen lived an old father goblin and his little goblin's ten. Leap, said the father. We leap, said the ten. So they laughed and they leaped in the deep green glen. Over in the forest where the trees hide the sun, the big mummy called to her little monster one. Trick or treat, asked the mummy. Treat, cried the one. So they skipped off together for some Halloween fun. That was a fun, lots of ghouls and goblins in that one. And let me think, what we could do, let me try and do this one. Did we do flutter, flutter, little bats, ready? Flutter, flutter, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. Swooping through the darkest night, you'll find your way without a light. Flutter, flutter, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. <laughs> we just got that one. Yay. Oh, I got a good one. We've got time for a couple more. Pete the cat. 
Five Little Pumpkins by James Dean. Five Little Pumpkins. Five Little Pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five. Sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. The third one said, But we don't care. The fourth one said, Let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. I like how all the pumpkins are dressed up. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? Oh, happy Halloween. That was a quick one. All right, oh, let's do this one. This is one of my favorite authors, Broom on the Broom. She's a witch. It's not Halloween-y, it's more witchy. You think of witches at Halloween, right? Let's see. Um, the Room on the Broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black by Julia Donaldson, I should have said. I think I said it. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black, a long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bound in a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on the head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the blow from her, away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in a bow, I am a bird, as green as could be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, let a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I'm a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room in the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Ooh. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy, but the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm as mean as can be. And witch with french fries sounds delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fries. 
But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads, it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dipped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up a cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she uttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. And <laughs> wasn't that a fun one? I love that story. We've got time for one more song. If I can remember it <laughs> and sing it right to you, it goes like this. The witch, she had an itch. The witch, she had an itch. Where, oh, where, where, oh, where did she have that itch? On her tiny nose, on her tiny nose. The witch, the witch, she had an itch on her tiny nose. The witch, she had an itch. The witch, she had an itch. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where did she have that itch? Where do you think? On the top of her head, on the top of her head. The witch, the witch, she had an itch on the top of her head. The witch, she had an itch. The witch, she had an itch. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where did she have her itch? On her little elbows, on her little elbows. The witch, the witch, she had an itch on her little elbows. <laughs> we could keep going all day with that one. You can carry on that one at home with mums and dads. See how many places that you guys can have a witch itch. Okay, so I hope you're here with us today for cookie decorating and costume time. Um, but if not, we will be back live in the library every Tuesday at 10 a.m. for preschool stories. So I hope to see you soon. Uh, the library is open Mondays and Wednesdays from 12 until 6, Tuesdays and Saturdays from 9 until 1, and Fridays from 9 until 3. So we look forward to seeing you guys in the library sometime or next week via our YouTube channel or Facebook page. Bye friends, have a great week.